Hello and welcome to Model Yacht Racing UK. In this episode we're going to go over the fundamental parts of the model yacht and some of the basics needed for sailing. This is the Dragon Force 65, introduced into the UK in 2013. This is the hull and it is approximately 65 centimetres long. Uh, there are lots of one design boats in uh, this country that we sail, um, however the Dragon Force 65 has been one of the most popular. Here we have the hull with the keel already fitted. The keel consists of a lightweight fin and a heavy bulb at the bottom. The bulb is the heaviest part of the boat and this keeps the boat upright, whilst the fin stops the boat dragging from side to side when the wind is not directly behind it. At the back of the bow is the rudder. The rudder steers the boat. This is connected to a small electric servo motor inside the hull which in turn controls the rudder. Um, at the front of the boat we have a rubber bumper and in the event of a collision uh, this uh, gives some protection towards the boat. Uh, we're now going to look at the rig. Um, the rig is uh, the, the sails and that provides the engine for the boat. And uh, on these boats we have different sized rigs and they're used for different wind strengths. So we're going to look at um, the rig, uh, which consists of a mast and two sails. And we'll just put the mast in the mast foot there. We can take a look at it in a little bit more detail. We're now going to take a look at the rigs. Um, we have three rigs set out here which are for the 65 boat. There are four in total for that boat um, and most model yachts have several rigs which you can use with them and it's up to you to decide which rig to use depending on the wind strength. So we're going to take a look at this one. This is the smallest rig for the 65. It consists of a mainsail and a jib. And these are both connected to the mast, which runs down and fixes into the hull. The forestay here and the backstay both connect to the hull and that is what keeps the rig upright on the boat. Uh, we have a main boom, a kicker and a downhaul and this is the jib boom. These little lines here are called sheets and this is the jib sheet. We have a main sheet and they run through eyelets on the deck to the back of the boat which connect to the winch and in turn that operates the sails and moves them in and out. I hope that's given you a little insight into how the radio controlled yacht works. If you like us give us a thumbs up and um, subscribe and next week we'll be looking at how the radio control works.